Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm doing this spooky purple and pink nail set. So if you're interested to see how I did this, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by unboxing the Melody Susie 28 piece gel polish set that they've kindly sent me. They've sent me this a while ago, but um, I completely forgot about it. So here it is. And I thought I would do like a Halloween kind of look. So as you can see from the bottles, they are quite small and they contain 10 milliliters each. And I really like how these bottles were made of glass. And it also comes with a matte top coat, which was really nice and I actually used in this video. So here are some swatches and here are all the swatches because there was way too many to swatch. So as you can see, you get a good variety and they're definitely more like winter kind of shades which I thought was appropriate for this upcoming season and also for Halloween. So I'm wearing currently a, um, what is that? A Builder Gel from Madame Glam. And I, I'm just showing you how I would prep my natural nail. Um, although these aren't my natural nails, I would just basically buff them or file them with a hand file like this. And I would basically use the hand file to kind of clean up my cuticle area as well. So you can also use a, um, a sanding band with an e-file, but I find that the hand file is more gentle and I have a bit more control over like um, where to put, like apply my pressure. So I just prefer to use my hand file and this is my Makart 180 grit hand file, which is amazing. I'm then going to put on a peel off base coat. This is the Ant or UNT um, peel off base coat, which is really good. I've been using it for so many years now and it's really inexpensive. And I just use this to basically pop off the nails later because this is actually a set I couldn't wear um, because I have like university. So I don't, I'm, I'm not actually going to be wearing these, but um, yeah, this is just for the video. I'm just applying a layer of that and it dries in about a minute or so. Whilst that's drying, I go to size up my nail tips and these are the Coffin XXL from Amazon. I don't remember which brand they are. I will link everything down in the description box. But here I am just sizing up. I have quite small nail beds, so sometimes I have to like use the same size for pretty much most of my nails. So yeah, this is basically what I'm doing and these are quite good as well. They're quite strong. And I've been using them for a good couple of months now and I've had no issues with them. I'm also pulling out my McCart mini LED light, oh no, UV light. Um, and it's really, really good. Actually, I received, I did a video on this, I think in my previous video. Um, I will link that down below. And you can use my discount code Nails by Camin to save yourself 15% off at checkout. So I'm starting off with, first of all, applying my tips. Now, as soon as I open this, I'm like instantly confused. I'm like, um, did I pick up the matte top coat? Because this base coat was like super cloudy um, and I wasn't sure why. And now I'm just like double checking just to make sure it's not the matte. But anyways, I went ahead with it and applied my nail tips as I would with base coat. I just put some in the well of the nail um, but before that, <laughs> I forgot to apply it to my nails. So here I am just applying it to my nails. I do a thin layer to all my nails um, and cure for 60 seconds. And to apply my nail tips, I just basically hold the nail over my nails and just cure them. And that's pretty much it. Um, I find that using base coat gel is usually easier and like for my nails to remove afterwards anyway. And it's just safer. Um, and ever since I've started using base coat gel, I just don't really use glue anymore. I just find that the base coat gel works really really well. If you wanted um, these nails to pop off um, like 
instantly or you didn't want them to last long I would use like top coat to cure these on but um, the problem with that is that sometimes they can come off during like the process of doing your nails so if you're not going to be doing some heavy filing and maybe your set is shorter and you kind of don't want the nails to last too long you could always um, use top coat instead of base coat and here I am just filing the nails I usually do this to get like a nice straight free edge and I also like to take in like the side walls a little bit I will be scratching up the surface of the nail tips as well as I am applying poly gel today um, and I'm using my favorite e-file. This is McCart's JD700 e-file. I've had it for years and it's so, so good. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. This is available on their website. Again, you can use my discount code Nails by Camin. It gives you 15% off at checkout as well. And what I do with this e-file is basically just use it to kind of rough up the surface and remove the shine from the tip. Uh, and... <clears throat> And I also kind of blend where the tip meets the nail so that I have a nice smooth like poly gel application as you'll see in a minute. And it's, I'm using this kind of barrel bit. It's like flat top so it makes it really nice to kind of take down the little bulky thing that's happening where the nail tip meets the nail. So I really like this for that and it's just a nice quick bit to use. It's also really good like when you file down your poly gel it's really nice to use around your cuticle area if you're a bit more experienced if you're not then i would use like a safety bit which is like where the top is rounded instead of flat so moving on just doing more of that base coat which is actually base coat it's not matte top coat you'll see in a minute when i go to cure not sure why it's cloudy but hey it is and it works which is fine and you do get two base coats as well. Did I did I mention that you do get two base coats as well? You get a shiny no wipe top coat and a matte top coat. And <clears throat> and so far so good. Not experiencing any problems with the gels. There's no really there's not really any smell to them. I don't think there was barely any smell. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. To cure, I also like to hold the mini lamp so that can, so that I can get my thumb in there as well, and it just saves me time. So onto poly gel application, I'm doing all well, not all, pretty much most of the nails a clear base, just so that I can um, build up my structure and whatnot. You know, you're gonna need that, especially if you're using tips. You can't just go straight on with gel polish. I mean, you could, but <laughs> that doesn't really make any sense. Um, if you were going to do that, you might as well just use press on nails or like the full cover tips instead. But this um, today we're doing poly gel, so that's why I'm using tips. And as you can see, most of the poly gel I just apply to the center of the nail and then I go to kind of disperse that out into the edges. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have like a one, well, I would say that's like a one bead-ish kind of method but I don't have like a two bead method or a three bead method or anything like that you could definitely try something like that out I just find it easier to kind of go all over the nail um yeah that's just what I prefer it just depends um on you what you are more comfortable with and just um do what helps you do your nails best these then I'm going in with this beautiful nude shade which i have never been able to pronounce it's from the mccart house of florists collection it's a super nice nude my favorite nude um it's all these poly all those poly gels are named after flowers so yeah i'm not sure what how you say it but yeah it's just this shade and i'm using this to create a smile line or yeah a smile line so i'm just basically sculpting that up as best as I can and the slip solution that I'm using is also from McCart from their their if I can recall it's their pink and bling poly gel kit that I did a review on before this I believe so yeah that's the one I mean that's pretty much most of what I'm using today and again now just going in and filing I cured all the nails for a good 60 seconds I find that it doesn't need more than that it always cures within 60 seconds or even sometimes just slightly under that and I'm then gonna go in and file and do all my shaping so I'm using that same flat top barrel bit and my speed is um, relatively low 
polygel is super super easy to file so i never found that i needed like a high speed you could also get away with hand filing but i knew this set was gonna take long so i just used my e-file and not my hand file but i do love to hand file i will go in my hand file to shape but to kind of buff the surface and create a better c-curve i'm using my e-file like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, now that the nails have been shaped and buffed, I'm going to go in with the gel polishes off. Also for the middle finger, I did fill in the rest with clear poly gel and file that as well off camera. So I thought I would be using this glitter initially, but I didn't. You'll see later which one I'm using. It's super, super pretty. I'm sure you've seen it in the thumbnail. I hope you have, but yeah, it's uh, like a different glitter. So I'm starting off with this pink shade. The whole theme for this nail set was kind of like pink and purple. Um, I really wanted to incorporate some purple in there since I've already done a pinkish one, I believe. Um, so this is going to be more pink and purple. So I'm doing two coats of this pink shade. And they do offer quite a few pinks in this poly gel, uh, not poly gel, <laughs> in this gel polish kit. Um, but I found that this one was more like towards the pastel side. So I thought it would look really good against this kind of pastel purple, I would say. So for the design, I'm using my Glitter Bells Long Striping Brush, my, one of my favorite brushes, not my most favorite, um, my most favorite is Madame Glam. And I'm basically doing these stripes down the nail, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Um, I just thought I'd start off with something a little simple and easy because I tend to get really frustrated if I have like a really hard nail design I can't do and then kind of feel like giving up on the rest. So I just thought I'd do like a nice easy one to start with so i don't know what happened here but the footage will get cut off for this nail only so i'm really sorry but you'll see in a minute that <laughs> the nail will come back completed there you go so i'm sorry about that but it was just basically me doing triangles and a mouth and a triangle for the nose with my um madame glam black gel paint which i also really really love so moving on to the next nail, going in with this beautiful, beautiful, vibrant purple. I really, really like this one. I saw this and I was like, I, I have to use this today. So this is what I'm using and I'm basically doing a French tip, a good classic French tip. And I'm basically just using this tiny brush that I have from, I believe, Amazon or AliExpress. I don't even know what happened to my AliExpress brushes. I think this might be one of them, but... um. I'm basically filling that in and making it look nice and crisp and then kind of going over the smile line with the lighter shade we used previously and I thought that this just added a bit of pop like a little pop of brightness I really like that so I did go in with that
Then for this design, I'm going to be needing that white gel polish. So this kit does come with one. And I'm using my dotting tool to basically create the head of some ghosts. So of course it's Halloween and how could I not do like a nail set with ghosts in there? So here we go, another cute set of ghosts and these ones i'm doing slightly different to what i did previously i'm giving these guys a bit of like a like a tail i guess um you'll see in a minute what i mean um just so i can create like a different variety of ghosts i believe i already did a set with ghosts and i didn't want to make it exactly the same so here i am just making it slightly different so this was fairly easy just going in with my brush to create a nice tail and then using this beautiful bright orange for, of course, some pumpkins. So there I am going in with pumpkins. I will also link um, down below who this nail set was inspired by. Some of this was kind of like my own take on it and also my design ideas on it. But also some of their design ideas on it, it was like a mix of all kinds of different things. So um, I will say it's from Not Polish. Um, I'm not sure um, what the person's name is specifically but um i did see this on the not polish um, instagram page and i got really inspired to do this similar design since i already wanted to do something pink something purple i thought this was perfect so here i am doing some pumpkins of course they don't look the best um but they uh hopefully look like pumpkins from a d distance so yeah, I just, I felt like I should have made them a little bit bigger, but I wasn't, it would, they were okay. I didn't mind them. I thought that they were just fine. Going in, of course, to create a cute face or more, of, well, it's a bit creepy, but it's a face. Um, and that's that on that nail. Moving on to the next nail, doing another layer of that beautiful pink. I'm doing two coats of this um, for the pink on this nail. And this one, on this nail, I wanted to do a stitch kind of uh, design, keep it a little bit more simple. Um, and yeah, basically using a combination of the colors that this set is kind of based on and just doing some stitches, I guess. Um, again, this nail was inspired by the Inspo pick on Not Polish, so... Yeah, this one I really liked. I did change it up slightly with the colors and I did do um, some like less, I did less stitches. I think it wasn't exactly the same, but it was pretty much based on that. And these are like the stitches as well. And moving on to the next nail, this is my most favorite nail and it was really, really fun to do. Again, starting off with that beautiful bright purple shade, just doing one coat of this. This one was so pigmented, I did not need another coat, even if it wasn't a clear base, it just did not need it. So then I'm going on with the base coat and then basically sprinkling, sprinkling on the iridescent glitter. This is from mccart's um oh i keep forgetting the name bling something bling something body gel kit it's their pink one i did the breast cancer nails with this on my youtube i'll link it down below and it's just such a nice glitter and i was so happy to see that it didn't cover up that purple completely it was still peeking through so it's still like tied in with the whole look i was a little worried that the glitter would not look right on this set but it actually looked pretty good and um yeah i really like this i did press down the glitters as well make sure you do that otherwise they will kind of lift and look weird and yeah you, you don't want that so just press them down and cure and then that's it that was fairly simple for the thumb what am i doing for the thumb oh yeah i'm doing a spider web so I'm basically going to be doing, what is it? I kind of messed this up, but I didn't, <laughs> you'll see in a minute what I mean. So doing a thin coat of that lilac shade and then doing the spider web. So 
in the thumbnail you'll see that the spider web is black so here i'm doing it pink initially i thought it would look cute i thought it would tie in but no it didn't i just wasn't really feeling the whole, the whole pink thing um so i went over it with black yeah i just covered it up with black i like that some of the pink was still peeking through i feel like it did tie, tie in with the look a little bit but uh yeah i just at this point i was just too tired to kind of take it off and do it all over again because i had already cured it and it was just a mess so yeah sorry about that but here i am doing my spider which kind of looked like an ant but you know i'm tired at this point and i'm trying and this set took me a couple hours to do yeah it took me a couple hours but it was worth it in the end i loved it and i love filming for youtube so i don't care how long it's gonna take i'm still gonna do it and now just finishing off with <clears throat> the matte top coat of course i love this matte top coat it's so nice and it feels like really good quality it does have that cloudy look to it so i feel like if it, if i did go over with another coat it would make my nose look too cloudy but yeah it other than that it was really nice and matte like there was no shininess peeking through or anything it was completely matte going in with cuticle oil of course we can't forget that and just massage that in well my cuticles really needed it after such a long set my nails just felt a little dry and especially my skin around there so just rub that in and that's pretty much it for this look it was really fun to do this guys thank you so much for watching um let me know what you think down below and uh yeah i will link who this set was inspired by down below as well and um, don't forget to check out my other videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys